Hi guys, uh, welcome to PowerPoint. I am Blanca Polo and today we're going to begin learning about PowerPoint. Um, so PowerPoint is very famous, okay, and it actually started when a person that was traveling constantly doing business was looking around the plane and they, he saw that a lot of people were like traveling on business as well and they were kind of making notes and trying to prepare that presentation that will give them power. So he looked around and, and then he started like asking people about what was on with what they were doing and how they will manage it once they were, you know, were in their, at their destination. And he decided that he was going to build something that will automatically build PowerPoint presentations or presentations that actually have power. Okay, so let's get started. Well, today we're going to learn how to successfully deliver a presentation using PowerPoint. So here is the thing. It doesn't matter what we tell you about techniques, colors, and anything with the presentation. The main thing in a presentation is the presenter. So if the presenter has the power, the word, the presence to make the point come across, then you got a good speaker, then whatever is that you have in there, it's gonna be done. If your presentation is to teach something, you know, and you have a good speaker, the person at the other side will learn. If your, if your point is to actually sell something, the person on the, the, the listener will actually buy, you know? So PowerPoints, uh, presentations are nothing, nothing without the presenter, no matter how good a presentation it is. So, because, because I just told you that, the first thing that we need to do is show you what you have to do as a presenter and what you should not do, okay? So let's get to that. Okay, do not wear a hoodie and do not put your hands inside the pockets. If you're not selling a hoodie, you had no business wearing one. Do not wear tennis shoes. Tennis shoes are not appropriate for a presentation unless you are selling tennis shoes. Another thing, if you have a t-shirt with a message, make sure it is not an inappropriate message or rather, don't wear a t-shirt for a presentation. Do not wear a hat and do not wear sunglasses. If you are not selling a hat, you have no business wearing one. If you are not selling your sunglasses, take them off. You need to look at the audience, look at them in the eye so that the message goes across. Another thing, do not wear slippers. Slippers may be fun in Hawaii, but they are not professional. So avoid them when possible, mostly if you're not selling them. Now we have the right attire. However, that doesn't make the presentation a success. You cannot be reading from your cue cards and you cannot be in bad posture. So stand straight and look at your audience in the eye. Okay, so um, I hope that uh, what we saw, you know, was informative for you. And uh, remember, those are the no-no's that you should never do. So let's take a look at another no-no. This slide, I labeled it appropriately the no-no slide, okay? This is a slide that you don't wanna ever present. You know, it has absolutely nothing around it, right? And it has a lot of text. Now, here is the problem. Whenever you have something like this, what's gonna happen is that your audience is gonna start reading the slide and they are gonna ignore you. And if you don't believe me, you can just go ahead and test that. Or next time that you're in a class and somebody comes with a no-no slide and you look at them presenting, you're gonna see that yourself, your eyes will automatically go and read the presentation and you're not gonna listen to what they are saying, okay? So the first thing is that you are going to be building a PowerPoint presentation, not a PowerPoint book. It is not a book. The no-no slide is a book. Okay, now there is another thing. We tend to read first and then pay attention, as I mentioned, right? So you will never be able to win that war, okay? Now, there is another big mistake that people make. How about reading the slides? We have seen that, I'm pretty sure that you have seen it. I have seen it in my students. They go in there and they read the slides. I think that is sort of disrespectful unless you are reading the slides to a three-year-old that doesn't know how to read, but otherwise, why are you reading the slides? If you're reading the slides, you might just as well grab your slides, 
make a handout and hand it to the audience and go sit down and see if they have any questions because they know how to read and if they are going to get the exact same information from you reading the slides and they will get on their own then you're wasting your time and you are wasting their time okay and if your time is not that important for you but maybe your audience really values their time and they're going to be like oh i'm here for that now imagine if instead of me giving you this kind of presentation, I will get a no-no slide out there and then read it to you, and then read the next slide, and then read the next slide, and not have breaks like this where I can see you, you know, and you can see me and we can communicate, you know, what I, that I'm trying to get the point across. So definitely, please avoid the no-no slides. Let's move to another, oh, by the way, the stuff that you're going to be seeing here in the slides that I'm going to show you, are mostly things that you should not do. I will mention that so when you see the slide, you're not gonna be like, ah, what's that slide? Okay, so let's come, move on. Okay, so uh, today we're gonna look at some PowerPoint elements. So we have text, okay, all of this is text. We have pictures or images. In this case, again, you know, I have a picture of my beautiful dog. And look at that, I put in here is a photograph by Blanca Polo 2014 because these, the copyright for this photograph is mine because I took this picture and this is my dog, okay? Now if you are going to do this, you know, if you plan to show a, a photograph of anything that you did not get, you know, if you go online and you get something for your presentation, make sure you copy the URL or the website name and make sure that you acknowledge that, okay? That's ethically correct, it's morally correct, and you get people <clears throat> to know and understand that you actually did your research. You didn't just go picking around, but you actually know where your material is coming from, and hopefully it will be a trustworthy, uh, uh, you know, source. So let's move on back. So another thing that you can add in here, you can uh, add audio or videos. I'm not gonna add that because these two, these two actually must be used very little because they are distracting. So here we go. Now, you saw the transition from my previous slide to this slide. I'm gonna go back so that you can see it. You see, I got one transition that I found and if I were a newbie, I would say like, oh, this is so cool, so I'm gonna use it. We cannot use stuff just because it's cool. Now, look at this. Presentations should be consistent. And this one is a slide with white background and dark uh, text, okay? Now, allow me to move to the next slide and look at the transition now. You see, the transition was different. Now, that is one thing that you should not do. Transitions, once you pick one, you know, and we're gonna learn how to make those transitions, you know, once you pick one, you stick with it for the duration of your presentation. The next, the, the same thing happens whenever you pick a background and you pick a text, a font, you know, you have to stick with the same. Consistency is very important. Otherwise, you know, if you have a transition and then another transition and another transition, guess what your audience is gonna be thinking? They're gonna be like, oh, oh I wonder what transition is gonna come out next. Or a sound, oh, I wonder if it's gonna be the woo sound or the car sound or whatever. So you don't wanna distract your audience. If you wanna sell them something, teach them some, something, or show them something, you want them to be at paying attention to that, not to the inconsistencies in your PowerPoint. Let's go back. So we're here with the inconsistencies. Now look at that, it's not consistent. Ooh, this one is terrible. This is something that you should totally avoid. Don't put a graph in the background that is gonna be so big that it will obscure the text. You see in here, green is for nature. Can you see anything? I know that it says nature because I built this slide. But if, you, if I didn't tell you, you will probably not be able to read that. You will read green is for, and then presentations. These you can make up, but look at that. That is terrible. Very nice, very nice butterfly, but terrible, terrible presentation yet another uh, different kind of move, right? I'm getting a, a different transition. And again, you know, this light is kind of orange and again, I should not be using different things. Look at another one, wow, maybe you're wondering, why is the next thing that Blanca is gonna show me now, right? It's a little different. Now, you have to keep the same look at and feel. That's why I'm going back to the original one, okay? Use the same colors, in this case, I, I picked this nice uh, background. Okay, the theme, uh, we're gonna talk about themes for now. We leave it at colors. 
and look at my dog still laying down in there, right? So we move to the next one. You see there is the transition, in my case is no transition. And in PowerPoint we have several views that I am going to be showing to you uh, in a minute. So let's go and take a look at the views. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to press escape to get out of the PowerPoint. Okay? Now, as we are here, we have several views that you can see. Now, this view is actually the normal view. Okay? The normal view is where you can see the slides on the side and you can work on your slide in here. So that is one of the important views that you need to know. Now, this is in here. Um, another thing that we can do is that here at the bottom, you have different views that you can use. Okay? I, can you see the bottom in here? So in here, this is the normal view. We have the slide sorter, which allows me to look at all the slides in case that I need to change the order of my slides for whatever the reason. Now I'm messing it up, right? So I could change the order of my slides if I need to. And this is great because I can see more slides at the time, okay? Now the next one that you will see is the reader view, okay? The reader view allows you to run the PowerPoint presentation in a little, in a piece, as if it were a show, but it's a little smaller, okay? Again, you can, you have to, this helps you look, it's like testing, right? Look at what you are doing. Now, the last icon to the right is the show. Now, the show is the actual show that shows us, you know, whatever it is that we are doing within the slide, okay? So, as you can see, we can have a nice presentation and we can really mess it up. Now, this presentation, I hope that as ugly as it is, actually help you guys to see what you should do and what you should not do in PowerPoint. See you around.